Welcome to a lecture on nuclear physics for BSc 6th sem students in 6.1 paper by Ms. Aisha Legions, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Physics of V.V. Sangha's Virasheva College, Bayadi. In this lecture, we are going to deal with the first chapter that is Composition of Nucleus. Nucleus was discovered by Rutherford in 1911. A nucleus is a positive, massive entity which has very high density and is stable. The various properties of nucleus are its mass, its shape, its charge, its density, its spin and its magnetic moment. According to various experiments on nucleus, the nucleus are formed to be spherical. The nucleus is represented by a symbol X, A, Z where X is the nucleus of the atom of the element, A is its mass number and Z is atomic number. The nucleus has in itself neutrons and The radius of the spherical nucleus is given by the formula R is equal to R0 a to the power of 1 over 3 where R0 is a constant and has its value 1.1 into 10 raise to minus 15 meters. This 10 raise to 15 meters counts to be 1 for me. Now the ray, it is to be noted that the radius of the atoms is 10 raise to minus 10. Now let us know the nuclear mass. The nucleus has nucleons which are protons and neutrons. The number of protons are equal to the number of neutrons. But however, in certain nuclei, the number are not equal. Now, depending on the number of neutrons, atomic weight, atomic number, atoms are classified into isotopes, isobars, isocores and isomers, etc. How basically the nuclear mass is the sum of mass of protons and mass of neutrons. It is given by the formula nuclear mass is equal to Zmp plus A minus Zmn. Z is the atomic number and A minus Z is the number of neutrons present in the nucleus and Mp and Mn are the masses of the protons and the neutrons. But it is found that the actual mass of the nucleus, Mn, is always found to be less than the sum of the masses of protons and neutrons. Hence, there is a mass difference between them and that difference is called as mass defect denoted by the letter delta M. Now, delta M is given by the formula Zmp plus A minus Zmn minus Mn. These masses are measured in what is called as atomic mass units. And one atomic mass unit is defined as one twelfth of the mass of part one twelve atom. Also, it can be shown that one atomic mass unit is 31 MAV. Now let us know about another important parameter linked with the nucleus and that is called as packing fraction. Packing fraction of a nucleus is defined as the ratio of mass defect to mass number of that nucleus. Pf, that is packing fraction, is given by the formula delta M divided by A. Now let us know about another important parameter called as binding energy. Now the binding energy, to understand the binding energy, let us consider the nucleus which has got Z number of protons in a sphere of radius 1 Fermi. Now these protons are positive in nature and Coulomb's repulsive forces exist which will make the nucleons to scatter but they are all bound and confined to a limited space. Now these nuclear, these nucleons are bound by an energy called as binding energy. Binding energy of nucleus is defined as the energy required by the nucleus to bind together within the nucleus. 
Now, for example, it is given by the formula ZMP plus A minus ZMN minus MN C square. For example, let's take aluminium. Aluminium has got mass number 14 and atomic number 13. Now, when we substitute mass of protons in the binding energy formula, we get binding energy to be equal to 224.96 m. Binding energy for nucleons is specific for a nucleus and for aluminium it is 224.6 MeV by 27. Now which comes out to be 8.332 MeV per nucleon. A graph of binding energy per mass number is drawn for various nuclei and is as shown in the figure. The important feature of this graph is for a grid for a mass number greater than 20 the points fall on a smooth curve and binding energy per mass number is independent of the value of and it is roughly remaining constant at 8 MeV. Now let us know about nuclear spin. As nucleus has finite size and spherical, it is having spin motion and the spin of a nucleus is given by the relation S is equal to square root of S into S plus 1 into H by 2 pi. That comes out to be root 3 H by 4 pi. The nuclear spin is denoted by the symbol I sub xn. The spin magnetic quantum number is denoted by the letter ms which is always having a value of plus or minus half. Now let's know about another important property of the nucleus that is nuclear magnetic moment. The nuclear magnetic moment mu r is related to a nuclear spin by the relation mu r is equal to g mu n into square root of i n into i n plus 1 where g is called nuclear splitting factor where mu n is nuclear magneton and has a value mu n is equal to e h by 2 pi divided by 2 m p. It comes out to be 5.505824 into 10 raised to minus 27 joules per tesla. However, the electron go magneton has a value 9.7478 into 10 raised to minus 24 joule per tesla. Now, let us know about another important characteristic of the nucleus. We know that the nucleus, in nucleus, there are positive charged entities, those are protons. And they are acted upon by strong repulsive forces among them. They can make the nucleus unstable. But nucleus is stable. Having nucleons within a small region. So in that region there are protons, neutrons, confined to a very small region. So naturally there must be strong attractive force to keep them together within the nucleus. These forces hold the protons and neutrons together in a nucleus and such forces are called as nuclear forces. The nuclear forces have the following properties. The nuclear forces are charge independent. This means the nuclear force between proton and proton or neutron and neutron or proton and neutron is the same. Therefore, the nuclear forces are having no effect of their electric charges. Nuclear forces are short range forces. Remember, these forces are acting within a very, very, very small region that is the diameter of the nucleus. The third property is that nuclear forces are strong forces in nature and they are attractive, truly strong and they are very much stronger than the Coulomb's repulsive.
forces. The fourth point is nuclear forces have saturation property. That is, immediate nucleon interacts with only one limited number of nucleons. The fifth property is nuclear forces depend on orientation of the strings of the interacting nucleons. Now, the nuclear forces explained the binding of neutrons in a nucleus and the origin and nature of these particles. Therefore, they are not properly understood. I repeat again. The nuclear forces explain the binding energy of nucleons in a nucleus, but the origin and nature of these forces is not properly understood. It has been discovered that these forces possess a strong property of being sometimes positive and negative that is attractive or repulsive, which depend upon the state of neutrons with respect to each other. Yukawa proposed the existence of a new kind of particle or field first and he called it as meson field between proton and neutron. Thus, we have Yukawa's or meson theory of nuclear forces. He also says that proton and neutron do not have an independent existence in the nucleus. He says that an exchange particle, which is meson, sometimes positive or negative or sometimes zero charge, is exchanged between the nucleons and is responsible for binding force. Exchange is represented as below. Suppose you have a proton which is positive, it becomes a neutron by giving out a positive meson. Or a neutron takes a negative meson, takes a sorry, positive meson and becomes a proton. Thus, the nucleons have a core surrounded by a cloud of pi mesons called pions. Thus, a pi meson can, or a pion can be pi minus 1 or pi or pi 0. And it is an exchange particle which jumps back and forth between the nucleons and keep them together. The mass of the pion is given by m pi is equal to 275 times the mass of electron and it has a mean life of 10 raised to minus 7. Now let us learn about the various nuclear models. The various models were proposed to explain the nucleus, nucleon interactions within the nucleus, namely liquid drop model, Fermi gas model and shell model. Let us learn about liquid drop model. First, the liquid drop model was proposed by Bohr F. Kalker in 1937. According to this model, the nucleus is similar to a small electrically shaped liquid drop. The nucleon moves within the nucleus like the molecules in a liquid drop. The motion of nucleons depend on nuclear temperature. The total energy of the nucleons is shared between the nucleons. The nuclear model is based on the following assumptions. Number one, the material of the nucleus is incompressible and the density of the nucleus is same. The second assumption is the forces within the nucleus are Coulomb's repulsive forces and nuclear forces. Analogies between the liquid drop and nucleus gives a satisfactory explanation why a nucleus is considered as a liquid drop. First, both liquid drop and the nucleus are spherical. Second, in both cases the density is independent of volume. The third point is the forces are short range forces, both in liquid and or liquid drop and nucleus. As surface tension forces act on the surface of liquid drop, 
there is a potential barrier acting on the surface of the nucleus. Fifth, when a small drop of liquid is allowed to oscillate, it breaks up into small nuclear fission fragments. This is evidence that the nucleus is having. This is uh, evident. This is evident in nucleus. The internal sixth point is the internal energy of the nucleus is analogous to heat energy within the liquid drop. Seventh point: latent heat of vaporization corresponds to constant binding energy per.